just want to read this right here. The Lord just kind of spoke this to my heart several times through the testimonies. I'm just going to mind him. The Lord is my shepherd. He maketh me. Not just worthy ones. Me. To lie down in green pastures. A fruitful place. A haven. An oasis. A refuge. Allows me to come to the house of God with the other sheep. Sure. Huh? He leadeth me beside the still waters. Not in them. He don't drown me in a flood. He just lets me go along the still waters and when I get thirsty, just get a drink. Huh? He restoreth my soul. When the devil's been beating up on me. When I've been carrying him on my back. When he tries to spew lies of how sorry we are. And how we could have done this. And we didn't do it this way. And we're at fault and all that. When all that comes against us. He allows us to come to green pastures. And he restores our soul. He lets us know greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. He lets you know the devil's a liar and the father of it. He lets you know you are loved. He lets you know that you do count. He lets you know that, hey, he is for you. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. You know why God's good to us? So he can get the credit for being good to us. He's good to us so others will look and say, it's not about them, it's about their God. For his name's sake, he leadeth us in paths of righteousness. Yea, though, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. He didn't say, though I walk through the path of death. Just in the valley of the shadow of death. Sometimes you get in the valley, you just soon die. Just the shadow of death in the valley weighs on your soul. Some of you have been in the valley this week. Some of you gotten a little bitter. Until you got to look at how good God's been to you. Some of you got down there in the valley. Instead of seeing the lily, you saw the shadow of death. Might have been a family member stab you in the back. Might be the devil telling you how sorry you are. And you're down in the valley of the shadow of death. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. Boy, it's hard sometimes not to fear evil. It's hard not to worry about things sometimes. It's hard to not uh, dwell on things sometimes. But he said, even though I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I'll not fear any evil. Why? For thou art with me. See, so when you get down there and the devil's camped out on your doorstep, just remember the Lord hadn't forsaken you. He's a friend that sticketh closer to brother. And when you're fighting hell by the millimeter, not even by the inch, you're not alone. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. When the devil's chasing you, you've got a staff and a rod that'll comfort you. The word of God and the Holy Ghost will comfort you. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. I love that line of that song. When the devil's throwing every dart he's got at you. When he's dispatched every imp he can afford to come and mess with you and harass you. 
They all show up and they encamp around about you and all they do is see you sit in church this morning and eat on the goodness of God. Huh? He thought surely this would be the week he'd knock you out but yet here you are pulled up underneath the table just eating from the goodness of God. Hmm? Uh, and can I say whenever God feeds you from his table it's good. It's just good. Whether it's shouting, whether it's singing, whether it's preaching, whether it's testifying, or whether it's just his calming presence like it's been around here this morning. It's good. Huh? Thou preparest a table for me in the presence of mine enemy. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. You know, oil is always a picture of the Holy Ghost, but can I say it's also a picture of the blessings of God. Say so he'd just fill your cup as long as you're well to eat at his table. Hmm? Goes on to say, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I'll dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hmm? Can I say, God's been good Amen. and he's shown mercy. Hmm? Grace is getting what you do not deserve. Mercy is not getting what you deserve. We deserve hell, but we got mercy. We deserve harassment, but yet we got peace. We deserve hardness, but yet we got tenderness. We deserve hate, but yet we got love. Because goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And then... We'll dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord sure had been good around here this morning just in speaking through testimonies.